and welcome back so in today's tutorial we will be looking on one of the use case okay and as a part of this use case we will be seeing how we can trigger an event from business rule and how that particular business that particular event lead to the trigger of the notification okay so the use case is pretty simple and you must have faced this out uh, in your organization also so you know the incident table right okay and whenever an incident come into a queue of any assignment group okay so no one wants to work on that incident right okay who wants to work on that incident right so it gets assigned one group will get assigned to another group and another group will keep on assigning to the next group okay and it keeps on going okay so what we want to do we want to avoid this out so what we want to do as a part of this use case is like whenever incident get reassigned to different different groups multiple times okay then we want to trigger a notification to the caller saying ki hey they are playing with your incident okay so how to get it done so let's move on to the incident table let's first understand the structure of incident table okay so i will just go to incident dot to okay let's create a new record and for example this particular incident is getting create uh, a person called able tutor is creating an incident okay with a name as a short description as test incident and now it got assigned to a person okay uh, assigned to a group called analytics setting manager okay i will save it out and now there is a field on the incident table okay if i do right click show xml and there is a field called reassignment count so where is that reassignment count and this is zero right now so what exactly this field signifies okay so this field get updated whenever you change the assignment group so if you and currently is zero because it's not reassigned okay it's just assigned to a group okay now if this group members reassign this incident to some different group okay then this particular field will get increment okay so let's let's change this group out so i will remove this group out let's select some different group called a. service level management group if i save this out that they will be working on this incident okay and if i go and do show xml and now if i do check for reassignment count where is that reassignment count reassignment count so now you can see the reassignment count got incremented by 1 okay so we have to just follow the same use case okay so whenever incident incident get reassigned okay multiple times for example two times three times okay then we want to send a notification to the user okay so let's get it done so first and foremost thing what we will be doing we will create an event so how to create an event you have to just go to registry and there will be under system there is a event registry okay so system policy event, event registry okay just go over the let's create an event I clicked on new. We're taking some time. So this is where the e all the events get stored. Okay, cancel. I don't want any transactions. Well, it got blanked. Let's do it again. Okay, let's click on new. this is the fresh instance i created in the morning only and it's not helping me out come on much taking running transactions pretty interesting because this is a new instance of red great so let's give a event a name okay so i will give incident dot re assignment i always use 
lower case okay whenever i am creating incident so you can follow the same or you can have your own naming convention so incident dot reassignment i will just copy it out because i want to use it out and on which particular table it's acting so it's incident table right so let's select incident table over here incident table fired by it will be a business rule and we will name it as incident reassignment okay and this description this is the event to trigger the assignment notification done okay. we'll save this out now as a next step what we want to do we want to create a notification so you can see the related list over here let's go with that only so we'll create a notification let's click a new notification which will get triggered when the event get triggered okay so so we'll give it a name student re assignment event is fired will will click and select a uh, incident reassignment incident reassignment this is the event which we have created just now okay who will receive the notification so and what it will contain okay so who will receive the notification what we will be doing groups and field as it's on the incident table right let's click on caller okay let's send the notification to the caller itself okay caller and what it will contain so let's give a subject as playing with your incident okay and uh like people are really playing with you see with your incident please escalate i think this is this is this serves the purpose right so done now we will go to the business rule now let's create a business rule so i will go to the history uh, history i will just open that incident which we have created and configure configure business rule and we will create a new business rule okay and this will be create an reassignment okay advance i will click when okay so it should be after after because we don't want to perform anything on top of this table okay it's outside activity so i will make it after uh and after update because on insertion the reassignment count will be zero right and we'll give a condition like reassignment count is greater than two okay so the third time the notification will get and here what we have to do in that one we have to do simply cs dot dot okay 
js dot event queue and here we'll be passing the attribute the first attribute is the name of the event okay the second will be the glide record so we will pass it as current the third and fourth are optional okay so you can pass if you want to trigger certain notifications to param1 and param2 you can pass it out i will show you how you can configure it on notification but i will keep it as empty for now okay and that's it for this particular now i will show if you feel if you are feeling something over there okay in param1 and param2 then if i go back to the notification if i go back to the notification ah oh, not this one where is that and i will go with the created by it should have created by over here no Let's bring it on. Created by created. Sorry, created. And we don't want 2005 notification. We need 2023 notification. This is the notification. So if I open this notification out, so if you are filling those parameters out, param one and param two, so it you can use this attribute. So you who will receive. and said who will receive you have event to one event param one event param two so if you are passing certain things out over there uh, you can check this box and the notification will get triggered to them let's go to the history let's go to incident and now we will change again this assignment group so this time let's use the same incident okay it already got assigned once so let's assign it to change cap approval okay that hey we don't want to work let's assign it to cap approval let's see the reassignment count now so if i do show xml and if i do reassignment count 2 okay so this is not where the notification will go if i do one more time i made it about 2 only right let's check leave so it was when about to right greater than 2 so let's go back to the incident and we'll assign one more time so i'll change this out i will move it to change manage management now and if i save now the reassignment count is greater than 2 and that business rule should work okay so if i go let check the assignment count is 3 now we will go to the emails all emails okay let's check in the email logs only and if i go with the created by and you can see the incident got triggered playing with your incident okay to the able tutor because he was the caller for this incident so this is how you can create a a a notification okay which will help you to track the playing activities <laughs> okay so this is all for today's tutorial in today's tutorial we have seen a use case on incident a re, uh, reassignment how we can work on the same we have seen how how we can trigger an event from business rule and that will lead to the trigger of notification so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like it all please subscribe to my channel if you want to see future videos also get the notification of future videos till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you